Okay, this is called a hot flip-flop. Um, fun little trick, you basically show the kids all different colors on all the different sides. And here we're going to close it. Just wave your hand, abracadabra. And then they're all the same color. And kids are going to ask how this is done. You basically just explain this has two things. It has a side with one little piece of tape and a side with two pieces. You open the side with one piece, it shows you all the same color. You open the side with two pieces of tape, it shows you all different colors. Now the other ones are hiding behind here. So they're hiding behind. So you can tell them that's where they're hiding behind, but tell them not to pull it because if they pull it, they're going to rip it off and it won't work. All you have to do with the kids is this. You just tell them to lift up the side with one, lift it up, it shows you all the same colors, close it, then just lift the other side with a two, and it shows you all different. Simple as that. It doesn't matter if you show the, all the same colors to start with or all the different colors. That doesn't matter. Um, sometimes the kids want to take it and just drop it. That's okay. I try not to have them do that because it might break it a little more. So rather than just taking the top and letting it all fall down, encourage them to just lift it up. So just lift it up. Just like that. If a child ever does actually have one of these come off or rip off, they, they can try and tape it at home or glue it at home, but if it's real bad, unfortunately just rip it off. They'll be short one of these, but it won't work if it's just dangling there. Um, one other thing I want to explain for the older kids, and this is only for the older kids, you can actually make this a little cooler. You can do what's called like a prediction. You basically show them all different colors. You tell them to pick a number between one and six. Let's pretend they pick the number four. So you say here, one countdown, two, three, four. You picked four, you tell them. Look what happened. You picked four, which is gold. So here, I'm going to close it. Abracadabra. Remember, you picked number four, and here's what we do. Abracadabra, and say, look, they all became gold, the one you picked. It's almost like their number is the color they became. Now the question is, what if they had picked something other than four? You explain to them, it doesn't matter. Whatever they pick, it's always going to end up on their color. Now some of theirs will be gold, some will be blue, all blue. Here's how it works. If they picked four, one, two, three, four. If they picked the number one, you spell out one, O, N, E. If they pick two, spell out two, T, W, O. No matter what happens, you always end up on this one. If they pick the number three, one, two, three. If they picked four, one, count down, two, three, four. If they picked five, now you spell out five. F-I-V-E, and if they pick six, you start here, you spell out six, S-I-X. So no matter what happens, you always end up on that gold one. You just have to convince them that they chose that number and that's how you picked it. So if they had picked the number five, for instance, you say, are you sure you want five? They'll say, yep. Say, all right, let's spell out five, because you picked five. F-I-V-E. We landed on gold, and that's what it's going to become. If they pick the number three, say, you pick three. Tell you what, let's count to three. So let's count down. One, count up. One, two, three. So you pick three, which is gold. Here, we'll close it. And remind them they picked three, which was gold. Open the other side and say, look, they're all gold. And that's a harder way to do it for the older kids, but don't worry about it. You're, you're probably going to wind up doing it just basically opening and closing a lot like this for most of the younger kids. Enjoy.